Hello everyone, it's Francis with your book of memories. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by and check this video out. I want to share with you this new project that I created. It is using the Slim Folio tutorial. I'll leave the link down to it over there. Now, you're probably wondering, what is what paper line is this? This is the Marion Bright Tiny Paper Pack at Hobby Lobby. It only comes with like about five designs, so what I ended up doing was going around the store and getting other uh, single sheets like I did the last project. There will be a tutorial trailer on the original design for this, the base of it you can use, and then you can add whatever other extra elements you want on your projects. Happy holidays. <laughs> um, this is a tough part of the year. I'm sure we're running around and trying to uh, take enough vitamin C. So <laughs> right here on the front cover, this was the ephemera pack that came with that small pack. It also came with some stickers. And so I have like this little removable card here that you can slip the photo inside there. And I made a shaker element. So I thought that was really fun. And then I have a flower out of my stash, ribbon from stash, and I made some handmade flowers there. I did add some satin ribbon on the side, and this is some specialty paper. Look at this. And this is the aged leather sheet by Authentique that you can find in the single sheet area of Hobby Lobby. Now let's get into it. I'm super excited. This is a project anyone can make, okay? And so I'll be playing the tutorial trailer after this walkthrough. It is using different paper. So don't let that confuse you. Don't let that intimidate you because you can do, look at, look at this. You can do anything. Right here on the left panel, since it is a folio, I'm building off the panel instead of the spine. So I've got this little element here that's magnetic. And then it opens up this little waterfall. <laughs> you guys have probably seen this design already, but how cute. I could stick something in here. I do have it with a little plastic sheet in front of there. And look at those adorable wood veneer. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Merry and Bright, I just made my own little cut apart since it didn't come with any. And this is a on flat pocket right here. And I got a little trifold on top. I also have this little side element. Bingo. Some journaling, more 4x6 photo space. How cute is that? I love this uh, deer paper, uh, deer fur. Okay, I'm going to call it a reindeer. That's a reindeer fur to me. And these open up and down. Check this out. So right here, you'll notice there's two little pockets here. I did use the envelope punch board to create these notches. And then we've got this. I love it. Four by six photo space. Bingo. Love the cars. That angle pocket, I show you how to make that and these two as well. This was out of the ephemera pack, just for extra interest. Super cute little tags that you could just journal on. And a little tag came with the pack as well. Some more wood veneers. And then I've got this cute little guy down here. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is that so cute? I don't know. Can you tell me why? <laughs> That's out of the sticker sheet. I'm loving this new camera snap. It is adding a different element to it. Um, I can overkill though with it, so I didn't put a camera there because it was just like too much going on. <laughs> I went nuts with my chalk marker. Okay, we all know this already. So I'm opening these. I'm showing you this pocket. I'm talking about this tag. <laughs> Check these cute things out. Places for photos. Now, this is an awesome little belly band sideways diagonal situation. Okay, <laughs> and you could situate a stack of photos in here. Okay, that's fun because they'll stay. <laughs> and then what, ha oh my gosh, I did not see that coming. Okay, did you see that? Let's do it again, let's do it again. Wait a minute, was that there? Now it is. Okay, beautiful wood grain paper as an accent there with the Christmas tree out of the paper pack. And check it out, yes, you're right. We have another insert. Space for journaling and more memorabilia and situationalia. I'm feeling good today, okay? I feel good when I make these videos because I'm, you know, I'm interacting and talking with you guys and I just love you all so much. Please take your vitamin C, okay? Stay hydrated, do your exercises, stay positive, okay? There's mysteries around every corner. Negative situations may seem negative at first, but once you let go of the outcome, you never know what might happen. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. I love the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I also have to have a paper trimmer on hand, okay? I couldn't do any of these mini albums without it. I do keep a brand new sharp blade, or you could just have the sharp one ready to go, and one that's dull. I use this one for my chipboard, and I tell the two apart with that black marker right there. I will be incorporating the envelope punch board. You can find this at Hobby Lobby or probably Michael's. Simple stories, okay? Look how positive this is. Thank you so much, Annette. She sent me 
two packages of this collection, which comes with six sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided designer cardstock papers, okay? This is fantastic. Never forget how amazing and fantastic you are as well, okay? This is unbelievable. So these are the designs we're gonna be working with. So I've got here my dull blade that I'm just gonna put on right there and my two pieces of 12 by 12 chipboard. Now, the thing about medium weight chipboard is that there's a really bendy side and then there's a stiff side, okay? And now we're gonna stick this edge right on top of there. Take your time, okay? If it doesn't come out perfect, don't even worry about it. Just overlap that tape. The straighter you put the tape, the straighter your guide will be around the perimeter and some on the inside. I like to use quarter score tape for that. You can use any kind of tape that you want. The, whole, the only thing I'm trying to show you here is how to do it. The way you do it is completely up to you because we never want to stick any of the edges of our chipboard at the edge of any of the papers. And you gotta remember there's one on the back and one on the front, right? Okay, again, let's find that stiff side. There it is. Provide about 3 sixteenths of an inch of space between. So again, just flatten out your corner and then you just bring it in like this. Using this part of the bone folder tool, just kind of bring it in, doing the same thing at the bottom. Like that. Middle down, work toward the outside. And you have yourself some awesome corners. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. And now we're going to cut a total of three waterfall flaps out at four by four. Okay, so four inches by four inches. Easy. Now we have the three waterfall flaps uh, in line next, which is very easy. We're just gonna score these. These are four by four square. We're just gonna go four inches along the top, whichever side, half an inch for each one of them. And then you're done. Now, you could do this any way you want. I just like to find that textured side that bumps out at me, and I fold toward that side, just because it has that traditional card maker's fold. If you do that as opposed to the other way, you'll notice that it has a very nice finished look to it. And we're just gonna stick this bad boy right on there. So let's do that. <laughs> this corner here, it's gonna be right there at that corner. Easy as pie. Easy as pie, don't overlap that score mark. Leave some room, kind of go up a little bit. Just cause we wanna make sure these little flaps can close for us. And the next three pieces will be two and three eighths by three and a half. Now this one's gonna either go all the way down or all the way up, you decide. We're gonna have the I am right there when I've matted on black. Lining this up nicely, eighth of an inch border. Let that follow through. And then these two pieces are one inch by four and a quarter. Okay, I am almost done. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. 